Hi, I'm Joanne Ozug of 15spatulas.com. I'm going to show you how to make a semifreddo. Semifreddo is a frozen custard and it's got a texture that's somewhere in between an ice cream and a gelato. It is my absolute favorite dessert. And what I love about semifreddo is you do not need an ice cream machine and the flavor possibilities are pretty much endless. The one I just showed you was a dark cherry semifreddo I did but I've done vanilla, chocolate, citrus, melon, mango, pretty much do whatever you want. I'm gonna show you how to do a peanut butter semifreddo. I've set up a double boiler here, and in my bowl I've got eight egg yolks, third of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a little pinch of salt. And I'm going to whisk this for about 10 minutes. We wanna bring this mixture up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, just so we can kill off the bacteria that's in there been 10 minutes and you can see that this has changed quite a bit. It's gotten really thick and it's turned into this beautiful pale yellow color. Now I'm going to add in half a cup of peanut butter and once that is whisked in I'm going to transfer this bowl to an ice bath so it can cool down. While my cups are cooled I'm going to make my whipped cream I've got a cup of cream in here with a third of a cup of sugar, and I'm going to whip this to soft peaks. I have my cooled peanut butter eggy custard. As you can see, it is really, really thick. So I'm going to lighten it up with my whipped cream. I'm going to take maybe about a third of this just to start and lighten up my peanut butter custard. Just work this right in. Now that I've got my first third of whipped cream in here, you can see that it's much more manageable and a lot lighter. So I'm going to dump in the rest of my whipped cream and we're going to gently fold the cream into our peanut butter mixture. We want to be careful not to deflate those precious air bubbles that we whipped into the cream. So go into the center and then just come under and over and you can rotate the bowl as you're doing this. All right, this looks good. Cream looks pretty well incorporated. I take my glass container, pour this right in. It's all right if you don't get it all in there because you're gonna wanna lick that bowl. Got a piece of plastic wrap here you want to put the plastic wrap directly on the custard. That way you don't get a skin forming. So I'm going to freeze this for about four hours or so. It depends how cold your freezer is, just until it's set. My peanut butter semifreddo is frozen. I am so excited to try this. Get myself a little spoonful. Mmm. It is so good. The texture is kind of like a marshmallow cream. It's got this really airy, light mouthfeel to it, and it's so good. I mean, I love ice cream, but this is better. You gotta try this if you haven't tried it yet. You can find the recipe on my food blog, 15spatulas.com. I'm Joanne Ozug. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.